how I see it is, um, I, I view it from like Rene Girard's mimetic theory. Monkey see, monkey do. There's a tipping point, boiling point, escape goes. Some shit hits a fan, shit blows up. Okay, cool. We've cleansed ourselves of our sins, and now we're starting over. Now, it can be another world war. Now, as we know it, it can be economic war. It can be a viral breakout. It can be so many different things. And if you look, though, at the lineage, even though we're currently, you're saying we're in a bad position, yes. But if I elongate, uh, if I elongate history right now, and I look at how my grandmother lived and I lived. I'm fucking lucky I live now. Oh, I yeah. I mean, my mother lived. Yeah. Like, you know, back in the day, the average lifespan was 45 or 47. I don't want to live till 47. You know, the average lifespan right now is 87, right? Yeah. I mean, sci yeah science it depends, amazing. though. It's like, I'd rather live until 47 with a purpose in life than live until 90 sitting on a couch, you know, that's, and that's playing video games. Had, that's to say if they had a purpose. I have no idea, <laughs> right? But I agree. You should just be sitting down. But yeah. Eventually, what I'm saying is this. You got technology. You got crazy people running countries. We're still running as like apes pre-programmed and conflict happens. Shit hits the fan. We learn from it. We get a little bit better. So we got to elongate the time span a lot because we've only been here for kind of like a speck in the whole grand scheme of things. So we got to look like a couple thousand years and we're like, hopefully by that time it's like things are I good. It, I, 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 it, to be, to be told, totally, I mean, I, I understand that position. It's like, it's like the Steven Pinker position. I'm not a big fan of that. Not a big fan because I don't, I don't think that I, I think that there's a, there are certain things that, that have trade-offs that there are trade-offs that you just always, can't, that you can't yeah. help. So you can't have, you can't at the same time have a technocratic society and have a wisdom society. You mm -hmm. just can't like, at least not not if you put all your energy on the technocratic side. Like if you do that, then you're going to have to, you know, you have a limited amount of energy. Some things are in a balance and you can't have both, you know, and th there's a reason why that why religious traditions have ascetic practices like that. The, the fact of actually peeling back these garments, peeling back these exteriors mm -hmm. is actually a way to to center yourself to enter into something which is aligned and which will which will help you see purpose and to see the, the bigger picture. Um, but then that's actually, you know, you you get stories in in uh, in the Bible of like whole cities mourning, you know, like everybody's mourning in the city and everybody is fasting and all this stuff. You know, like maybe that's we would need something like that. <laughs> that's not gonna happen. Like, can you happen. it's not gonna happen. Well, people no. are trying to come up with their own thing. What do they call it? Uh, was it like all, all these sober November, whatever, sober October, whatever? Like they 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 inevitably will come back to it because they it's like a natural thing to want to do that. But lacking, they only want to do it for health purpose. They don't have this idea that you're going to find some kind of some kind of insight into your life by stripping back some well, of this. This excess. is once again what I said, where like if people are the problem with modern religion, and I won't even relate to the Vatican, I relate it to like let's say their local church or mosque, whatever, whatever temple you go to. Uh, the fuck, what, what can I call them? Like, <laughs> well, in Islam, it's what? a mom and then there's a father. I don't know. You could call, call priest? the whole yeah. priest. Yeah, let's call him priest. Yeah, okay. So you got the priest inside this temple, and the priest is usually kind of like the, the person guiding you, right? Okay. They need to update. Like, if they have better <laughs> communication and better updating for like modern times, people will listen to them. And it's like maybe it's my marketing mind thinking like if they here. use apps and they, no, not even apps, like better communication, man. It's like none of this, like, oh, like you can take. You can take old ideologies and beliefs and update it to the new time and create better. Because at the end of the no, day, what you what, want, you want, what, you want a better, you want a, you want a healthier, better, and happier family unit. More better and happier family units create the better society. A better society becomes a richer society. Yeah. Like it works up from the grassroots. Yeah. But what you, what we need is not better communication. What we need are saints. What we need are holy people. Like you said mm -hmm. before, we need our people who take it seriously. People who, who, who. Who did, who act, you know, in good faith? People who are trying to look at themselves, transform themselves first, you know, remove their own, remove the splinter from their eye. All of that, all of the things that Christ told us to do. That's that's the key. That's the solution. That's like, my so, favorite that's quote in the Bible, Matthew seven. Yeah, that, but that's what we that's yeah. what we need to do, you know. And and so that's the only that's the real solution is that and and the only way to go about it is that you have to do it. Like I have to do it, not you. Like. I have to do that. Like I have to be that. And if I'm that, 
then then you know Christ talks about that you know if you if you become a tree then the birds sit in your come to sit in your branches like if you if you're transformed as a person uh you know this great quote by Saint Seraphim of Sarov who says uh, acquire the spirit of peace and a thousand around you will be saved it's like I, if I, you if you yourself get transformed then the world will be transformed I think this message is generally in most practice like like you look at the uh, Sufi like Rumi he has a yeah. famous thing uh, yesterday I was clever. I want to change the world. Today I'm wise. I want to change myself. Mm. Uh, oh, you're right. So uh, I think the message you just got to get the message to people where it's like, yeah, your your temple may help you, but the truth isn't out there. The truth's in you. You got to work on yourself. You got to take responsibility for yourself. Yeah, but you part know? of that is submitting to something higher than you. Part of it is is because one of the the biggest obstacle to to transforming yourself is pride like that's the biggest obstacle is to think that i got it i got this i'm in charge i'm doing this all of that and one of the reasons why we have uh churches one of the reasons why we have spiritual hierarchies is so that you have someone above you who can tell you dude you you don't you you're you're, you're off like you, this isn't right you're not you're not doing it right you know and just that even just accepting to submit yourself to something higher is already part of the transformation you know mm -hmm. that's that's why we have that you know because we we delude ourselves and you you meet uh, people all the time you meet you meet you meet some person who's sp spiritual you know and is going doing yoga classes and meditation and everything and their life is in complete shambles like their relationships are horrible they've just gotten a divorce they're fighting for their kids it's like my goodness dude like that spiritual stuff like it's not helping you my friend it's no good not for him, but then some other people that does help. I think it's all case dependent, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah maybe. But like even for myself, like, what do I define myself as? I don't believe in capital. Art, so, what, what did gonna... you, what did you grow up as? You said, you said you're from Nothing Yugoslavia. Nothing really. This, these were communists, you... it's fucking atheism. Right? Yeah, yeah atheism. Hmm. Like, you can't practice. It's by law, you couldn't practice. Like, yeah. in a nutshell, my family background is a mixture of like Islam and uh, Orthodox Christianity from mm -hmm. the Balkans. Yeah. Well, for the most part, it's not just atheistic. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not like you're atheist by label. You don't, yeah. it's just like one, by law, you couldn't practice. Like, yeah, China, yeah. Right? yeah. Uh, and two, it's just like, it's more cultural than anything. Mm. It's like cultural beliefs as opposed to like, let's say, like religious beliefs. Yeah. Yeah. But like for me, it's like I, I'm not like I, I I get what you're saying, but like I'm not guided by the Holy Spirit or something like that. But <laughs> I'm guided by like how do I become a better me, a better husband, a better partner, a better business person? How do I help people around me? How do I create a better community? Yeah. Like stuff like that. Like I think there's ways of hybridizing that as opposed to like I need to have somebody telling me what to do. Well. It's good to have a mix of both. Yeah. It's because we delude ourselves. Well, people, I mean, you can always pay for a shrink for the shrink to do that for you. Like people, ah, people do that. Own shrink. I pop five grams of mushrooms and I sit down. And it's there. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I, I it's like, I, I, I understand that's the world we're in. Like what you're saying is the world we're in. And it's, and, and also to a certain extent, you know, the fact that, that the church has been corrupt and the fact that we've seen all these horrible stories come out in the past, in the past years, you know, it's, it's a, it's a sad state. Like it's a, it's a sad situation. Um, but there's something about, I mean, there's something about talking to someone else as someone, especially someone that, that does have some kind of power over you. Uh, well, I think what you're referring to is uh, role models, man, like case example, which is a lot of miss. Yeah. It's missing a lot in within boys and men. Like you have absentee fathers. Like mm. for me, my dad was like a, was an absentee, but he was like a piece of furniture Yeah, there, but not there. If you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So obviously how's my mom going to show me? I was a fucking nutcase <laughs> as a child. <laughs> <laughs> well, like your mom, my mom's not going to control me. Bless her yeah. soul. Yeah. Uh, but like, if you have, if you have like proper role model, not someone telling you, well, Jonathan, this is what you must do. And if you don't listen to me, you're going to go, none of that bullshit, but more or less being a friend, showing them exactly. And above all, not having a hypocrite, hypocrisy. Yeah. And people say one thing, yeah. but the actions speak another thing. Like mm. live by example. Yeah. No, I, I agree. And that's why, you know, 
and, and it's like I said, what we need to a certain extent are saints, even if it's like a little s saints, like a yeah, yeah. little s saint. Uh, but when you do get like a like a capital S saint, you know, you have you have transformations. Like you, when there is someone who is authentic and real and living it out and not being hypocrite, you know, you can. Is there an example of somebody in recent times that you would kind of put in that category? Yeah, there are definitely, there are definitely, I mean, because I'm in the Orthodox Church, there are, there are several elders in, in, in Mount Athos who, who command great respect and who have people who, who go and get their wisdom and then is able to, are able to spread that wisdom around. Uh, mm. There's quite a few of those, you know, we have, we have several saints, even some Serbian saints who, who, who were in America and who had some, some great effect and who kind of gave the tone for for the church and so there there are people but there are very few that's mm. true and we were in and, and and i think the fact that there are so few is is why everything's so messed up like we just look around and it's sad it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's kind of sad um so i understand your frustration with uh big r religion um but at the same time i don't i don't buy your alternative <laughs> I don't. I don't have an alternative. I'm just here doing me. <laughs> yeah. I'm not. I'm not selling anything to anybody. He's like, I'm not. Yeah. Well. You know. I just. I, I, listen. I go by the golden rule. I'm. I'm. I'm a. I'm a simpleton. I'm like. Yeah. Work on yourself. Treat others how you want to be treated. You know. Do good in the world. And I always say, like, focus on the primal things that makes a human being. Work out. Be in physical shape because physical shape will dictate mental shape. Work on your mental health. Right. And all these things are interconnected, right? When you feel good, you do good. And so it's like, at least like focusing on the base. And you can relate the basics. Like these simple things are much easier. Like I'm a firm believer in having a, a stepping stone and in, in, in an inception uh, to helping people. Because let's say you're talking to a 17-year-old and I work with a lot of young kids and you start talking about religion. Forget about it, right? And I'm, this is, I'm not coming from a religious perspective, but if you're talking about, hey man, like, I know what you want. I, I know you want to make money in the future. I know you want to live a good life, but this is how you do it. You know, like take care of yourself, treat people right. You know, like, mm. and obviously have guidance too. It's like, you know, don't just go out with every single girl and just get yeah. a girl pregnant. Be like, like, mm. like very bait. Like I'm not talking about complicated fucking things over here. Yeah. Like you would think, you know, you would think that people would have this. And I didn't have any of this mentorship or guidance when I was younger. I had to learn everything myself through mistakes. Right. Mm. No one sat me down. No one gave me this like, uh, you know, your good father. And I think your kid is blessed to have you is like, no one, you know, no one sat me down to have this. And I think a lot of this is like just very basic stuff is like having a good family structure, having a good community to, to relate to, having somebody to talk to, having some role models to look at, like, fuck. So where, like, for example, like your community, like where, where does it come from? Uh, if I had to say it would be the entrepreneurial community. Okay. Yeah. But then like you look at their uh, uh, behaviors, it aligns to like a lot of responsibility. They got to take care of everybody. They have two families. They have their mm. family, which is their business and their platonic family, right? Mm -hmm. uh, they got to take care of their health. They got to take care of their mentality. They got to take care of their finances. So to be a successful entrepreneur, like it takes a lot of these building blocks already to be to that level. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Mm. But uh, I think we'll wrap it up that um, if people want to get to know more about you and everything and all the work you do, what's the best resource for them? Um, yeah, well, I mean, it's in terms of my speaking, it's really the YouTube channel. You can look me up, Jonathan Pejo on YouTube or the symbolic world.com. That's my website. Usually all of my videos come out on that as well. Um, and, uh, yeah, I also am a artist. I make religious art and people can check out my uh, website, Pejo carvings. That's usually the best place to find me. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. And also if you're listening to this on iTunes, please make uh, please leave a review and go check out Jonathan's stuff. I will leave a link in the show notes uh, to his carving. Let's check out his carving. It's pretty cool. I'm going to buy one. Well, cool. thanks. Thanks yeah. for, thanks for uh, your, how can I say this? You know, I, I, I know I like, I, we are on two different sides of, of, of a question and I really appreciate the, the generosity with which you engage with me. So thanks a lot. Likewise. All the best. All right. All the best.